Angela Kelly is live with the Appleton Fire Department this morning. It's all part of the upcoming National EMS Week. Good morning, Angela. Hi, Rachel. Good morning, everyone. Well, we've been kind of seeing some exercises all morning out here at the Appleton Fire Department, station number six, to kind of give you an idea of what these men and women do to train to keep us and our community safe. So with us, we have Battalion Chief uh, Ethan Kroll. Uh, what situation are we in right now? Right now, the training situation would be that um, there's a building that has been reported to have a fire. There's no fire visible, but there's heavy smoke conditions. Okay, so let's get the crews started and explain what they would do. Uh, right now, the crew is making entry. Um, they're, they're sounding the stairs as they come up. They want to make sure that as they're coming up the stairs, they fall through. Um, we do a right-hand search. We identify a pattern, and staying low is in the event that there's heat and smoke up above. Um, visibility is better at the floor, and we also have a thermal imaging camera that will help pick up on uh, heat signals from any bodies, that, uh, any patients that might be inside the building. Wow, this is incredible. Look at this room, like, filled with smoke. You have, like, a, a simulator that, you know, wh how often do you do this type of detailed training? We, we get out here quite frequently to work on our firefighting skills, so we try and utilize the building uh, probably anywhere from 10 to 15 times a month. This is really incredible, just to be in here. I'm trying to see if we can get a look at the thermal imaging camera. It must have worked because they found. How does that emit thermal imaging camera work? It's, it's looking for a heat signal coming off and on the screen it'll show a difference between cold temperatures and warmer temperatures. And so we're looking for that temperature change and mm -hmm. then looking for the image that would be uh, human form. Mm -hmm. um, and then so it can obviously see past smoke and everything else because it's mm -hmm. looking for a heat signal coming off. What do you want people to, to think of or, or, or be reminded of next week during National EMS Week? Um, one is that uh, their community uh, works very hard to prepare to respond to any type of emergency. And there's different levels of medical service available, but it's a tiered system. And uh, emergency personnel will respond um, as quickly as possible and help treat them. And uh, we may be asking a lot of questions to identify what are the injuries or the medical condition that's uh, associated with the patient so mm -hmm. that we can treat it the best we can. I have to just say on a personal note, I've, I've done a lot of different stories like this with different um, fire departments and that sort of thing. And um, I was actually here a couple of years ago, and it never ceases to amaze me. Just a, a minute ago, when we saw them crawling up you know, on their hands and knees, I know we're in a simulated situation, but it seems real, and to actually see them at work knowing that they would be going into a burning building, I mean, wow. You know? That's, so thank you all, really. It's, it's incredible. Thank you. We're not done yet for the morning. Um, I'm going to be participating in our last sort of drill. You guys are going to be rescuing me from a window. Yes, doing a rope rescue. Um, all right. Well, looking forward to that. All right. Thanks, you guys. We'll toss it back to you. Thanks, Angela.